I'll leave my job and do live broadcasts and challenges in social media websites. Also, I can agree with my friends and we throw eggs on our heads, make fun of each other and ask for money from people. I think it's a great idea and we don't need to work at all. Hold on, what you're saying is haram. On the day of judgment, you will have no flesh in your face. Oh my God, no flesh on my face? Can you explain? Did you hear about the word fashionist and what does it mean? Lots of young people like to imitate them. What did Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him say about fashion imitators? And do you know about the money and fashion worshippers? And what do you know about social media beggars? Do they deserve the money? Inshallah we will answer those questions in this video. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you know that the internet is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The gift of the internet made life and communication easy. So we can easily do business or contact our friends and relatives. And we know social media and how it connects lots of people in one place from different people worldwide. For example, Telegram, Facebook or Instagram. You can contact people, make a group and even buy and sell items. You will find educational groups, sports groups, trading groups and all types of groups and everyone searches for the people they like. Those who want music search for music groups. People who do like Quran will search for Quran groups. You will find all types of educational courses, assessments and results in all fields. It made communication easy and built broad social relationships. What, what is fashionista, is fashionista and, and how, how do fashionistas, fashionistas impact society? society? The word fashionista means someone who follows the latest fashion. They choose their clothes based on their fashion, not on what they like or according to their culture or religion. Thus, a fashionist is a man who follows fashion and a fashionista is a woman who follows fashion. Now fashion is a way to earn money from social media websites. It became a job for those without jobs. Unfortunately, many young Muslim boys and girls follow them without realizing the dangers of imitating them while wearing and acting in ways contrary to our religion and culture. What, what did, did Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad peace be upon him say about fashion imitators? The Prophet peace be upon him said, Doomed is the slave of the dinar, doomed is the slave of dirham, doomed is the slave of fine clothes and doomed is the slave of wealth. If he's given something, he's pleased, and if he's denied, he's angry. Doomed is he. If he's pierced by a thorn, may he never be able to remove it. What, what is, is the, the meaning, meaning of the above hadith? hadith? This hadith explains that the most miserable of people is the one who worships money and fashion and takes his whim and lust as his god. So all his efforts are to collect these desires and ask for them. He abandons what he was created for and clings to the attainment of his desires without satisfying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's wasting his hereafter in this life. And the happiest of people is he who lives for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeks his pleasure. In this hadith, the Prophet peace be upon him warns every believer against being a slave to his desires. And he encourages the believers to live their life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his path, glory be to him. The reason for praying for him is that if he's given what he wants of money and pleasures, he will be pleased with God Almighty. And if he's denied, he will be upset and angry. And it is a supplication for him of disappointment and loss. And if a thorn pricks him, he's not able to remove it and it doesn't come out. And what is meant is that if he's afflicted with a sliced harm, he doesn't find any helper to get rid of it. Do you, you mean, mean people, people who live, live only for money, money and fashion, fashion will be miserable, miserable in life? life? Exactly. Some people reach the point that they worship fashion and fashionists and imitate them in everything. Therefore, they will be miserable in life. They don't live their own character or according to their religion. Otherwise, they spend a lot of money just to look like a singer, actor or football player. They copy their haircut and color and they even cut their eyebrows and get tattoos like them. As a result, young people will lose their self-confidence, their moral values and their character. Islam wants Muslims to have character and not be imitators of everything that is materialistic and shallow. What, what are, are the dangers, dangers of, of imitation? imitation? Imitation has a negative impact on raising kids, building families, 
and it produces weak generation with empty minds who can't carry responsibility. You've probably seen YouTubers, TikTok stars, or Instagram influencers do dangerous pranks to get people's attention and get likes, shares, and subscribers, like those who take selfies from skyscrapers and can't control their balance and fall and die. How, How many, many stories, stories like, like this? this? Too much. We hear about school pranks that lead to many students' deaths because kids follow and imitate them. Ouch, it's, it's called the Skull Breaker Challenge here. Officials say that it's very dangerous and warn against it because it can literally break your skull. And now it's made its way here to South Florida schools. Or those who fell victim to drugs as they imitate one of their favorite actor, singer, or influencer. And the problem is that there are lots of naive kids who imitate them and fall victim to them and they get lost. And here is some recent news. A teenager falls through the air and slams into the ground after taking a selfie on the top of a four-story building. And here another one. A 16-year-old girl falls to death while trying to take selfie from the 17th floor. Or someone crosses the road in a reckless way to get lots of views. Or someone sleeps under trucks and some people dance in skyscrapers and so on and so forth. According to psychologists, the fame obsessions triples depression, anxiety, and dissatisfaction. So imitation leads to moral, spiritual, physical, and psychological harm. Can, Can you tell me about, about the social, social media, media beggars? beggars? Sure, social media beggars are one of the negative phenomena that appeared. We've seen social media beggars who beg people for money. But, but what is the, the problem, problem to, to ask, ask people, people for, for money? money? Do you know that our Islam taught us to have dignity and money should go only to those who deserve it? But there are people who left their jobs and everything and they only stay at home to open live streams just to beg and ask people to give them money. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, He who begs to increase his riches is in fact asking only for a live call. It is up to him to decrease it or increase it. Imagine calls of hellfire and prophet muhammad peace be upon him said when a man is always begging from people the result will be that he will come on the day of resurrection with no flesh on his face so this begging makes the person lose their dignity and our islam taught us to ask only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't ask people May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us righteousness and richness. O oh Allah forgive me, my parents and the believers, when the day of judgment will be established. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.